I was Mary Waterman, the founder of the BCA's uh, medical oncologist. During her, the last year of her life, she was busy trying to set up the BCA and getting all the other founders on board. She wanted a cure. She knew that the cure would not apply to her, but she was aggressive. The mission of Breast Cancer Alliance is a three-pronged mission to support education and outreach for underserved women, to fund breast surgery fellowships, and to advance the field of breast cancer research. Breast Cancer Alliance is small, but mighty. I was diagnosed in February of 2015. I found out after the mastectomy that I was in fact in the triple negative category. Triple negative tends to come back swiftly and in a lethal fashion in maybe one to three years after diagnosis. I was diagnosed with HER2 positive breast cancer, uh, ER negative and PR negative. It's an aggressive form of cancer. After the cancer diagnosis, I can tell you there isn't a single thing in my day to day that remains the same. How I look at my family, how I treat my children. It's their faces I see and their words I hear and I just won't allow them to say I lost my mother when I was young to breast cancer. Fellowships are our future, it's that simple. Breast cancer care is becoming increasingly complex. The average general surgeon in America treats about 12 breast cancer cases per year. So expecting them to keep up with this deluge of high quality scientific information that needs to be translated into clinical practice just isn't realistic. We are the only nonprofit breast cancer organization funding fellowships. I was a Breast Cancer Alliance funded fellow. This is a field that changes so quickly. The fellowship trained breast surgeon comes out of that fellowship year feeling very confident about the management of breast cancer patients. There's an amplifier effect for our surgeons in that they go serve in communities across the country that might not otherwise have even had a breast surgeon in that community and they can train others in the latest techniques on breast surgery. I remember being diagnosed and thinking at the time, telling a group of friends, and there were eight of them, let me be your one in eight. If only that were true, I don't think it is. A funded fellowship saves lives. A funded fellowship could likely save mine one day. And that's true. Early stage research is very difficult for researchers to get funding for, and that's where we believe treatment and cure breakthroughs will happen. The amazing progress of the research that has been done right now is showing us that breast cancer is actually many, many different diseases. Uh, is it day one? Is it cardiac day two? A traditional funding agency like the NIH likes to fund hypothesis-driven science where there is a lot of preliminary data that's already been accumulated, such that their funding has a high rate of success in terms of the outcome of the grant. Organizations like the Breast Cancer Alliance that basically don't expect 20-page grants, they're short, they're to the point, they're high impact, they're high risk, and they're given right away. Um, are so important. That part is important, you know, comparing this to that is quite critical. The BCA, on the one hand, is giving seed funding to things that may not be proven yet, but on the other hand, they're giving enough funding for that seed research that can actually get the project off the ground. We can figure out really what the pattern is. After the BCA funding, and we were able to launch the project, show the proof of principle, show how these abnormalities drive breast cancers. We get in excess of 150 applications a year. We can fund 10 or 11 research grant out of that approximate 150. We reach out through our education and outreach grants to women and men who might not otherwise have access to services. One of the programs that we have funded over time is the use of a mobile mammography van that goes to laundromats and churches. I felt a lump. I didn't even think it was, everything was still a blur. So I still couldn't understand. It still didn't register to me. But when it did register, I was just like, I'm gonna die. I didn't want to do nothing. When I first met Vivian, she was scared. She has financial concerns and you know she puts others first. And this was the time where not only did she need to put herself first, but it was life or death situation. So that was my role is now to turn her from someone that was fearful to someone that's empowered. Financial, education, availability, 
The Navigator is the conduit to all, for all of those women. They break all of those barriers. They're irreplaceable in the world. She's kind of like your everything, without you even knowing. You never know that a stranger could touch you, could really touch you and really be there for you. You always think, oh, it's family, I just need it. But it wasn't. Not even my husband. It was Zarek. Sorry. It's a blessing that the Alliance is funding people like Zarek because it is working. <laughs>